Hello and welcome gorgeous Scorpio to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. So let's take a look at your first card and it's the rabbit. Recognize your significance. So you may be downplaying your own skills, your own abilities, your own empathy. You're downplaying something at the moment. And Spirit is saying that this week it's about coming into your own and not suppressing any of your gifts, any of your brightness, any of your light, any of your significance. We have this beautiful open heart here connected to source and the beautiful rainbow and symbolically what I'm seeing is that there is going to be a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow for you if you do not downplay yourself in any kind of way over the next seven days you're going to hit that jackpot of gold at the end of the rainbow here and a wonderful blessing is going to land in your life because you've opened up to um, to your own brightness, your own light, your own confidence, your own significance in whatever way that fits for you personally. So this is an incredibly powerful week for you. And you also have the wolf card. Be independent, but work together. So there is a sense of needing to be independent in some way in your life. And so honor that and know that you can still work collaboratively with others but there is a sense of doing something solo and being independent and that is linked in to your significance. Perhaps you have a unique perspective that you're wanting to talk about, um, but whatever this actually is, however this energy flows into your life, you must honor it because there is truly a beautiful blessing, a great miracle that's going to land in your life because you open up to this energy. So let's take a look, Scorpio, at this deck of cards for you. Guidance, please, for Scorpio. I am presence. Expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. So we have more of that confidence. We have more of you recognizing your strengths and gifts and these beautiful things that need to come out from you, that need to shine from you. It might be a creative exploration or gift. It might be uh, something you're wanting to say or do. But whatever this is, you need to um, you need to follow this path. It's very strong in this read, pointing in that direction. Have that confidence that you, I am that I am. Um, beautiful your personal unicorn bathe in pure love and stay open to unicorn magic stay open to magic happening in your life don't close down your mind your mentality don't close that down or don't close down your heart and if you feel that there is a blockage in these areas where perhaps you're not as open to magic and synchronicities and blessings happening in your life it's time to look at that and see whether you're able to clear that energy over the next seven days because spirit is really spirit is really uh, supporting you on this at this time. Right, it's for Scorpio, please, spirit, angels and guides. A message for Scorpio, please. This one here is yours. Azurite, get laser focused. So no time for procrastination, no time for holding back yourself in any kind of way. It's time to get focused on something that maybe you've put off for a time. Whatever you're doing this week, where you know that you need to get focused, it's, it's really supporting this energy. Black tourmaline, protect your energy. Protect your energy. Perhaps you are aware something is a little bit off, something isn't right in a relationship or an energy 
um, in your life in some way and these two cards are connected and spirit saying get focused on how to protect yourself in difficult circumstances when energy is being thrown around maybe at you deliberately and you're needing to protect your boundaries so see how that plays out in your life you may already know where you've been giving leniency toward uh, a person perhaps or toward a situation where you know that it's just draining your energy and you shouldn't be giving that leniency you need to protect your energy protect your light protect your self so it's about making some changes in that way over the next seven days and we have the card of amber harmony home protection calm and attracts love so harmony and home protection, the protection that you need energetically may be in the home environment or if it's in the workplace, there's tension and discord there, you might be bringing it into your home environment. So it's about balance and harmony coming into play when you get laser focused on what it is that you need to do. And there will be calmness and also attracting love so beautiful positive things will be attracted to you because you've made this shift titanium rainbow quartz awakening all chakras ultimate manifestation vibrancy and powerful shift so ultimate manifestation wow this is that major blessing the greatest miracle coming into your life because a shift, a powerful shift is going to happen and the best possible manifestation in your life is going to happen very soon, either this week or sometime very soon from when you view this reading. All your chakras are open and aligned. Chakra work may be, well, you may feel, feel drawn to that over the next week. Let's see what this deck reveals strength beautiful and this is leo's card so you may have a leo in your life of significance perhaps knowing your strengths and your weaknesses knowing who you are inside and out that's what this card is representing for you this week and that is your strength knowing your strengths and weaknesses and owning them that is your strength The devil energy this is capricorn's card so you may have a capricorn perhaps in your life the devil represents a difficult situation someone is playing you or you're a puppet in someone's game perhaps or you're having to play a game that's not completely honest there might be misleading information there might be manipulation or a feeling of entrapment but with all of the energy here of you coming into your own, recognizing your significance and the energy of protection, I do feel that you'll be able to break free of this um, restriction or whatever the devil represents for you um, very soon. The Page of Pentacles is about learning through an experience. So that may be exactly what is, has been happening recently. You've been learning through an experience a positively a situation, maybe positive or negative, but you've been learning through it. Um, and we're talking on a spiritual level here. The Queen of Swords. So we have a child and we also have or someone younger than you. We also have a mothering energy here with the Queen. So there may be a mother child dynamic that is taking focus this week or perhaps it's been ongoing for some time for you. The Queen of Swords is very direct, it's very good communication, can be very bold with what you're saying, really great for anything um, formal when it comes to letters and communication on that formal scale. The Ten of Wands, so this means you're coming to the end of a cycle because it's number 10. You have a heavy burden here, but you're delegating the load, so it means that you're surrendering to spirit or you're getting others to help you with whatever it is that you're feeling burdened with at the moment that's the energy supporting you over the next week the queen of pentacles beautiful this energy is about the contentment in your heart and in your manifest life that's going to come in 
uh, very soon or you might be sitting in this energy at the moment uh, you're holding a pentacle that you have worked for that you have created that you have manifested you're holding your creation right here in your hands so it does look like it's going to come to pass a manifestation a dream a goal but remember to get laser focused about it so let's take a look at the pendulum now so if you have a question you would like to ask spirit your angels or guides through the pendulum and you can think of that question now And the answer is no. So of course, check in with your own intuition, see if that resonates for you and the question that you have asked about. So I hope spirit has come through clearly for you today and you've understood the messages that they would like to bring through for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.